What's going on, you on YouTube? Uh, back with the fourth video in the series. Um, onto the league leaders, Chelsea. And I have to say, this is probably, um, bar the Invincibles of 03 and 04, the best team that I've seen in the Premier League. Um, throughout the team, you know, from the keeper to the striker, they have immense quality. Mixed with experience as well, which is a, which is a key. You know, I'll start with. Courtois, absolutely phenomenal keeper, he really is, 21 years of age, to come in and just deal with the physicality of the Premier League right away and just be so confident in his goalkeeping, um, I think he's an absolutely massive thing to come and do in, in the best and probably hardest league in the world, um, and he's keeping out someone who's been at Chelsea for 10 years, non-stop, um, consistent performer, Petr Cech, who is phenomenal, you know, and for me, he's too good to be sitting on the bench and probably doesn't need to leave Chelsea. Um, I know the Chelsea fans are a massive fan of Petr Cech and he's a big player in the dressing room as well. You know, I think he speaks uh, six or seven languages. Um, he's, he seems like a really nice, nice uh, bloke as well. So um, it would be a big loss for Chelsea still in the dressing room, but if he's not playing, he needs to go elsewhere because he's too good. Um, John Terry, I think he's an absolutely huge player still. Um, he's England's best centre back in my opinion, and probably bar company, he is the best centre back in the league. He he's that good. Um, he's massive to Chelsea to play the amount of games he's doing as well um, at his age. He's a real captain, a real leader, um, and I think him and Cahill have formed an absolutely fantastic partnership. You've got the best right back in the league in Ivanovic, you know, going forward, he, he's again one of the best offensively, he's an, a threat in the air, and this Chelsea team um, is a fairly big side, you know, bar the, the creative little players, you know, you've got the likes of Ivanovic, Cahill, Terry, Costa, Matic, who is the best defensive midfielder in the league, um, I haven't seen anything better, when he plays, Chelsea usually win. The one game uh, he's missed this year was against Newcastle at St James's Park and they lost 2-1. He's that vital to Chelsea. Um, and then you got this little man, 15 assists already in the league, already surpassed Gerrard's 12 or 13, um, who was the most assisting assists in the league uh, last season. So, yeah, absolutely top, top player. He's contributed to so many of Chelsea's goals. Him and Costa seem to be linking up really, really well. And the thing I like about Fabregas is he can play deeper. I know defensively um, he's been singled out as being a bit vulnerable. But I think in that deep line uh, midfield, when you can get a bit of space on the ball, his passing range is second to none. Uh, and his execution as well. He can also play a bit further up the field. I've seen him play when Macau's come into the team. His quality, Oscar, who's a phenomenal player, absolutely brilliant. Um, he's one of my favourite players. He gets goals, he creates stuff technically. Again, I'd say one of the best in the league. Um, yeah, uh, you got players like Eden Hazard who can make anything happen. Probably, well, yeah, top 10 in the world. Um, he, he's, again, that good. Um, and then William, who, who grass, you know, he's not maybe as talented as Oscar and uh, Hazard technically but he works so so hard for the team and that can't be underestimated he's quick he can get goals he has got a shot don't get me wrong he's very good technically still um, and then you got this one who, who isn't the best striker at all he's just a goal scorer he's got a bit of everything he's not the slowest he's very strong he's good in the air he can finish he's got two feet um, so from start to bottom you know I haven't even mentioned Azpilicueta because he, he again he's just an 8 out of 10 every week one of the best left back uh, left backs in the league and he's been converted to a left back as well so I really enjoy uh, watching him defend and then you look on the bench and it's just again full of quality I've gone over check Louise is coming for 20 million when I've seen him play he's done well um, you know, you got players like Ramirez who can play in CDM or he can play on that right wing if Williams um, injured or can't play Sherla who's a top player and then you've got Remy and Drogba as well who are big big players and uh, in their own right you know Remy was fantastic at um, Newcastle uh, last year oh, and he went, even when he went on loan to QPR he did, he did alright um, and he scores when he comes on for Chelsea this year so all in all 
there's not a lot you can improve in the team. Um, the one thing I would say, I was surprised at how small the squad was, really. Um, I think it's about 22 two players, and that's with Ake in, who isn't necessarily a senior player. Um, the one thing I would say you need is probably another centre-back, and I thought Howdez um, from Schalke would be a, a fairly decent signing, you know. Um, he played in the World Cup for Germany. He played left back a lot of the time, and he's not a left back, and he did okay there. But I think as a centre back, uh, he's a bit he's versatile as well. Um, he's a good centre back. He's solid. He's got a lot of experience. I say he won the World Cup with Germany in the summer, so he might not be a bad signing. Whether Schalke will be willing to let him go and the price it would cost Chelsea to get him, I'm not too sure. But he's a top class defender with experience, and I do think he'd fit into Chelsea uh, Chelsea's black line very very well. Um, another player you've been linked with a bit more exciting, a bit more uh, attacking is Quadrado. Now I saw this guy in the World Cup and he is rapid, he is absolutely just so quick. Um, he's good with the ball as well technically and he will get goals for you. Um, Florentina probably would struggle to keep hold of him um, if someone like Chelsea did come in. Um, and that's just giving more attacking flair. There's been a bit of talk of Scherler and potentially Salah leaving. Mourinho said Salah's not going anywhere this window, but it does look like he's probably going to be on his way. Whether he's good enough for Chelsea, um, I'm not too sure. And Scherler, I really do like. I think he's an impact player. He'll get beyond the defence um, and he'll get goals. He'll create stuff. Does he want to be sitting on the bench? Probably not. You probably could go and get into a first team, either abroad or... Even if you look at teams here, you know, Everton, maybe Tottenham, he'd probably walk into those first teams. So, um, if he went, Quadrado would be a good signing. Would he be an automatic starter? I'm not so sure. I, I think William, probably for his work rate more than anything, would get in over Quadrado. But it would be a good sign of Chelsea. Um, and it would just be adding to their attacking threat. You know, they've scored so many goals this year. So, I think with those two added to the team... They've got to win the title all the way. Um, the one thing I would say, for as good as Chelsea have been this season, Manchester City is still only um, five points off. And they're signing Boney. Uh, they've signed Boney, sorry, and they do look like they might sign one or two more. They've been a link to a few. So maybe just a bit more firepower for Chelsea. Um, they're going to struggle if they get an injury. If, if Terry goes... At this moment in time with no signings, you've got Kyle and Zuma to play the rest of the season, um, and that's it. You know, you're in four competitions still, Carling Cup, Champions League, FA Cup, and obviously the league. That's not enough, so you definitely do need a centre-back in my opinion. Um, full-backs, I think you're pretty set. Aspilin Quetta can play either side, Felipe Luiz as well you got on the bench. Um, Centre mid, you've got Johnny McCall, who's who's not a bad player at all, if something happens to Matic, but... Matic is that big of a player for Chelsea. I think you prob well you would miss him. He's he's indispensable. He's irreplaceable for me. He's that that good, uh, the man you Matic. Um, so yeah, not a lot I can say other than what a fantastic, well balanced team it is. Um, the attacking threat and defensively, the experience that they've got in there. You've got the captain and leadership of Terry, Kales, you can probably tell the learning from him. Ivanovic is a leader, Matic is a leader. Fabregas, who of course was captain at Arsenal before he left for Barcelona. And then you've got the likes of Hazard, Willian, Oscar, Costa, um, Scherler when he's off the bench, Remy, who are absolutely just phenomenal attacking players. So I will be very surprised if they don't win the league. Um, Man City might come back and spend a lot of money. As I say, they've already spent 25 plus on million on Boney. Um, but yeah, Chelsea for me, they've got the best manager, the best team. Um, I am tipping them for the league, and I think probably pretty much everyone else is. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Uh, Chelsea fans, leave the comments as well. Uh, I want to hear what you've got to say. Who do you think you should sign? Um, next video will be, I think, Everton. Uh, oh no, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is the next video. So yeah, um, subscribe for more content. Like this video, we really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment, I'll get right back to you. And uh, thank you very much for watching.